Driving through Oklahoma the next day, it was colder and the land was flat and low and red. The sky lightened to a pale blue, the road ruler straight as far as you could see. It was earth the color of fresh blood and ahead of us black highway and cloudless sky in sharp relief. There were no cars and no houses or trees, all around us sun-baked rock flats and we turned off the car stereo and listened to the road noise, tires on the asphalt, the steady hum, a low soft grind. We drove in silence, off in our own heads. I thought of how sometimes in the midst of survival life will jerk you away from your home, how it will push you out across the map, away from the people you love or into the path of others. I thought about the people in my past, the ones I'd left behind or lost or lost track of. See, people come into your life and people leave. Some of them become family and some you never truly know. They drift away or leave suddenly and sometimes they die. You try to hold on to them, but life gets in the way. You make mistakes, and because of those mistakes, you lose the people you love. You stay in contact, or you don't. See, everything will change always. This is something you have to accept, or nostalgia will turn into disappointment and eat at you until there's nothing good left. You will think of familiar streets. You will dream of old love. In your mind, you will walk lost avenues and pass long vacant storefronts and see ghosts on every corner until your memories and your longing for what was before will poison you. You will either drown in past glory or you will search for satisfaction in the place and time in which you stand. You will tell yourself to find new glories. You will learn to believe in the future and in hope and potential and second chances and second wins and triumphs to come, new opportunities, unexpected quantities, surprise gifts, and doors open to you, and in closed doors you will push open, and in the locked doors you will smash down. You will stomp through the shitty battlefields of today looking for the victories of tomorrow. You will do this but you will look back too. You will look back because you can't help looking back. You will look back as you sweat through the worst, meanest days when the whole world is pissing joyfully onto your head. You will look back for signs and explanations, for hints and familiarity. You are human. And because you are human, you will look back. It was full dusk now, sunset the red of earth with iron in it. To the west, where we'd just come, the sky was like fire over the plains. A few years ago, I would have imagined this as a fire to end all, to take back the land from its unworthy inhabitants, to be a closing note, a grand gesture, and a summation. But here I stand, my story told, and I want to tell you this is not the end. Things are ending each day, yet to those of us still here, we march on. The way of life we're used to goes away a little more every year, and we struggle to find what's next. We work and we rethink, and we look for good moments to make it all worthwhile. We fill ourselves up with action and fellowship and thought. We suffer and we fight and we build lives to be proud of. Even if we fail, we push forward. We believe in the chance to get better, the possibility of satisfaction and reconciliation, the eventuality of some better moment. When the people we love die, we mourn them. And then we remember them. Part of what they were goes on with us, and what they were and what we are is now a doubled stitch in the great fabric of life on this lonely spinning rock, the vast starlit lifelessness of space hurtling out as far as we can reach. Us here, that life, it glows in the darkness as a beacon, as a candle in the emptiness. Sometimes humanity is worse than a virus. We are steamrolling heartless death, We are cancers in wild onslaught. At our best, 
We are that dark field of flickering lights, the light of hope, love, of reason and change. We are little lights, barely a match struck, but we are many. When we ourselves are gone, the people we love will remember us too, and some of what we were will go on with them. Even if we're alone in the world, our smallest good actions ripple outward into waves we'll never see. The kind word to the boy in your class means he doesn't go through with his plan to take his life, and one day his child will grow up and teach her own classroom of students, one of which will have a child or a great-grandchild who will push a young man out of the way of an oncoming bus, and that man will give another kind word to the right person who needs it more than anything. It goes on. Our gentleness, forethought, and stewardship rebuilds the world in small shares. Days that become night are an ending, but there's something else too. And if we're lucky, we wake up to a new morning. This is the end of something, but it's not the end of you. It goes on, it goes on. It's all right, we can breathe again, wake up again, stand tall again, love again, make our lives in the image of our dreams again. We might leave our past in the places we came from, but we remember them. We tell their stories as we move forward. Again and again, it goes on. Again and again, 